All right, welcome back to war number three of season 20. So first team is Doc, uh, guild team 2099 and Doom, but we're not going to do anything with that yet. Next we got the guild team 2099, Iceman, and Bleed. Iceman is going to take the first two fights again with the incinerate poison. I stuck a invulnerability boost just because I knew I was going to be taking a bunch of SP3s, and this way instead of losing health, we can uh, keep that health for the next fight as well. So it works out exactly as planned. Take no damage, tank the SP3. As long as I don't screw up anything in between, we are good. Detonate those frostbites. Take another one, take no damage. Rinse and repeat. Can just fire off the special ones, detonate the frostbites, and we're good. At this point, I'm just doesn't even want to throw a special three. We'll just take that, evade a couple, and we're finished. Oh, one last one for good measure. Again, no damage, and we're good. Now, my mistake was I noticed that I still had the invulnerability boost. So instead of boosting, I just quickly jumped in with Iceman, and that was my mistake. Because I kind of felt like, okay, well, he's got... It's a flow war. He's got the power flood. doesn't really matter if he gets to a special three, because I'm not going to take any damage. The problem is it's Warlock, and he's going to put a button. I'm going to end up getting a ton of extra degen afterwards. So it was not smart. Once I realized partway through it, then I gotta start <coughs> parrying and getting off these power floods. It was a little too little too late, and uh, I just wasn't playing very smart. Again, his special one gives way too much, start taking a ton of damage. And this was the, uh, the first of uh, many fun and. Uh, interactive uh, fights. So I can't really hold on that much longer here. Get off as much as I can before his degen is going to take it again. off quite a bit but just hanging on for dear life with 1% left one more parry and it's probably gone there it is now I go back in I heal up Iceman I boost up this time and now I go with a much better uh, slow play of parrying try to push to the SB2 bait his heavies if I can And go from there. A little slower, but a little safer. And I'm able to keep up my health and save Iceman for, uh, for another boss circle fight later on this war. Yeah, just much a much smarter way to play it. push to the special two and punch him. That's the end of that one. And then the next ridiculous internet connection. It should have been fine. I look at the fight, should be an easy Doc Ock fight against Omega Red. And then the dreaded uh, Wi-Fi symbol. Then all of a sudden I'm kicked out of the fight watching myself fight. And then by the time I'm able to finally get the connection working, I lose half my health. So 
that was uh, frustrating. Once I get in, I didn't even bother healing that one. It was going to be a very uh, quick fight. If you've seen any of my other Doc Ock uh, war videos, uh, it is, uh, destroys everybody <laughs> so far. <laughs> if it's the right matchup, again, same thing. It's going to be gaining lots of power gain. Doesn't matter. Doc Ock is going to shut him down. Usually he's Sim Supreme in the boss circle, but uh, here he's, he's going to drop in uh, 18 hits. Next we have this uh, Medusa with Power Snack and Backup Recovery. And so went in with Doc Ock. Everything worked out pretty good for the most part. Again, just parrying heavy. I don't have to worry about her uh, auto block kicking in. And uh, everything goes there. Chain in the special two. Wait for the next one. And sometimes, for whatever reason, I go for my heavy and it's a millisecond too slow. I get punished, but I can recover. It's just frustrating at this point, having already lost half my health to a uh, getting kicked out of that previous fight. Let's finish off with a couple of heavies. Probably should have used SP2, but pushed to SP3, that's fine. Stun. So Domino is always fun because her unlucky and luckies sometimes make things work, sometimes makes it just doesn't. And we have some nice fighting options on this one. So again, time it out perfectly on the first rotation. Again, try trying to bait out her stuff. Perfect timing on the second one. Trying to get myself out of the corner here. Now this is a great interaction. I dodge it, use my special one, she evades, runs in, and now we're both just not getting hit. Then she just stands there and waits, and as soon as I make a move, okay. Now I just want to get out of the corner as fast as I can. I'm stuck here where the timer's going to come out, but she doesn't work into it, so I've got to launch the special two just to avoid the stun. And then, again, here I'm trying desperately to press on the special one, and the timing is a millisecond short. I get stunned, and that is it. Very uh, frustrating. Can be perfect every time, but you know, you try your best and you don't want to let your team down. Going with Doom to finish it off, and it's not a, not a problem. This is just a straightforward ghost fight, but flow so uh, perfect. Uh, he's a control champ, so coming in 1529, just an easy way to. Uh, I wanted to use her later for potentially a mojo boss, so I wanted to make sure I could finish a fight with uh, special three, so this was an easy opportunity to do that. to worry 
health for you. Just be a special zone. Wait for that 5% to hit. a fun one window of opportunity stun with warlock so again go in with guillotine 2099 this is on the main account and play it pretty nicely to start only need to you know compare units when the timer's off push him to special two as much as possible you know try and keep his power down with some special ones now, the only thing that uh, Warlock moves pretty fast, and I haven't had a problem so far in the fight of dashing back and waiting for specials. Everything is looking pretty good. Want to keep up the same rotation. Can parry when this timer is down. And here's a fun one. As soon as I go to dash back to bait out the special two, I dash back once, and then he comes in so fast, I guess I instinctively parried. And so I'm screwed. I heal up again and go in to finish the fight, and it's not a problem. It's just another unintended consequence of, you know, these uh, stun reactions. So here again, doesn't my dash and I get nailed again luckily the healing saved me and I'm able to you know just try and finish this off the fight where it's more like just let the character die before I do next we have a Nick Fury with kinetic transference and power from afar taking Dr. Doom boost up like crazy and I'm pretty happy with the uh, results Actually got a nice counter off the uh, special one there. And then worked out the timing to avoid his, uh, his unblockable. It was really good. Right, this is special one, push him out of the unblockable phase. We've got Dr. Voodoo, where he's going to be unblockable at the start of the fight as long as he has his healing up. So I threw an invulnerability boost just in case, you know, it doesn't, you know, I get a, you know, an input doesn't work. So try and go for, uh, just pound into his block, build up to that first special one, and then the rest of the fight is straightforward. too exciting there are lots of <laughs> evading specials don't have to use a control champ but again k team 29.9 don't have to worry about it no power gain issues and don't have to you know parry to take off the hits at the beginning which is i guess why they have them here again i'll just wait to a uh, special three and i will try and uh Wait for 5% and drop the special 3 and that'll be the end of it. By the way, I did miss two fights along the path. I had a magic on um, opportunity stun and I brought in blade just for that fight and it worked perfectly. Great solo. And I had a venom on path 8 in section 2 which I've done in the last war uh, video and I got some more Kapam uh, 
fun interactions there where, where Doc Ock normally had no problem chaining uh, attacks into a special two, and he blocked it. I got one hit and bled out, so one other death there. So I missed a good one, and I missed a bad one. Just forgot to record them. Next, another boss circle fight. We've got Annihilus. I go in with Doom. I know that Doom can be a tricky here because of return policy, so when you nullify it, he starts to gain power. But at the same time, if I can nullify the um, uh, the initial rod, then I can at least parry him, and my special ones can take off his um, any furies from the rage. So it works out great at the start. Able to get into a nice little rotation, but I uh, kind of forget that the more I nullify, the more power he's going to be gaining. So at the beginning, I'm able to use my special one, steal a bunch of his power, use it against him, get to a special three. Everything seems to be going okay. And then here I go for the special one. And the nullifies, push him right back to a special three. Again, I try it, but the nullifies bump him right back up. And now I'm um, just hoping that I can survive. But again, do with the tank, so I'm able to survive with quite a bit of health left. I do get stuck out of my rotation there because he had put the. Uh, his charge is on me, and now I'm kind of stuck trying to get out of the corner. And once I get back into regular rotation, nullify him, and then I can block a special two, parry, and we're done. So, pretty happy to get out of there. Next, another nice Doc Ock fight where it works well, and I'm just at the end, just happy to get out of it. So, again, a lot of parry heavy is the direct damage from the Jack Rocks, but this is actually putting in a ton of work. And as long as he plays along, once he starts throwing these special ones, it's just try and back off, not to hit him so you're not taking all that damage back. So, if he keeps coming at you like this, eventually you get stuck in the corner. I just want to get out of the corner as much as possible. And I'm trying to take giant heavy to the face. I was holding my breath there, but we got out of it with another boss circle solo. Next, we've got. Hyperion. Again, incinerate poison but stun immune. So we go in again, and uh, it's pretty similar to the uh, one of the earlier fights, just uh, without uh, without stuns. Just in case I can't uh, hand my keep baiting his specials, and he gets to the special three. We had the invulnerability boost just to protect us. But he actually plays along quite nicely and throws his specials. So it was actually a nice, uh, clean, uh, old school Iceman versus Hyperion fight. Iceman was one of those, uh, chaps I actually saved up for his featured, uh, crystals back in the day where you could actually have like a 20% chance of getting the one you wanted. I think I saved up four and uh, got Botua him, I think a Mordo and Star-Lord and the same opening. But uh, Iceman, I've definitely gotten the most value out of from that group. <laughs> Two and that's it. All right. Well, 
last but not least we get a little bonus boss action only the last uh, 20 percent but uh, i did take off dexterity for the guillotine and our guys were eager to go in which is fine now we end up in this war and for the third straight war the, uh, the junior count was uh, one of the MVPs. So, uh, you know, let me know down below if you uh, like what you saw, if there's anything else you'd like me to do in the uh, future. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks, guys. See you next time.